Michael. This is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. We're doing a recap, video recap of the ETFs, the major sector ETFs. This is a great exercise I encourage all of you to do. How long does it take to do? Well, I'll be talking, so it takes a little bit longer. But if I didn't talk, I could run through this list, and you can run through this list, two to three minutes, and you're done. So let's take it from the top. Here's the IBD 50. Pulling back, but what's the plus? Pulling back on decreasing volume above the 50-day, resting on the 20-day. That's the IBD 50. There's the weekly, excuse me, and here is the weekly chart. Continue onward. Gold miners. Falling below the 50-day on a slight pickup in volume. Fell on very heavy volume here. It's lost a little leadership. You don't need to overthink it and think, oh, I'll look, I'll look. No, there's nothing there. Move on. Gold, on the other hand, is still good. See this? It's hanging in there. In fact, it actually picked up a little bit. But it's interesting, a non-correlation between the gold miners and the gold stocks. This is where that's it. Is there a clean entry spot here? No. But the key point is this. Not necessarily looking for a spot to buy it. We're looking for what's weak and what's strong, what's staying weak, what's staying strong. That helps us in our focus. Next one, biotech. Now look at this. Look at the difference between this and that. What's that telling you? There's strength in here, falling on decreasing volume, near highs. By the way, look at the volume on that bar. That wasn't mom and dad bar buying. That's a daily, here's the weekly, here's the monthly, here's the weekly. See that? Look at that big, long weekly cup and a handle. Look at the volume on the weekly. Here's the, here's the thought, by the way. Buying individual to biotechnology stocks can be great, but it's also riskier. It's also riskier. How can you participate in the entire move? Well, it's simple. You can do the, just the IBB. And there it is again. What would be your spot? Taking out the highs of these bars with volume. Good volume on that bar. Let's continue onward. Technology. Still moving up above the rising eight day, which is why we are heavy in technology and have been heavy in technology for quite a while. IWM lost a, bit of a little bit of leadership down here on the 50 day on a slight pickup in volume. It's not as strong as it used to be. Something to take into consideration. Maybe, just maybe, we don't need to focus on small caps as much. But watch and see if it starts to pick up again. I look at these every night. Oil services, dead. Do you need to really overthink this? No, move on. Software, hanging in there. Look at this, you've got a little shelf right here. If it takes out around 104 with volume, that could be constructive for software. NASDAQ 100, hanging in there. Big stocks, we got exposure in big stocks. We like that. It did fall on a slight pickup in volume. Also, it rallied on decreasing volume. Something to consider, steel. Do I need to say anything? I hope not, but I will because I love to talk about it. It's below the moving averages. It's gapping around. The 200 days falling. Move on. SMH, hanging in, was very nice shelf right forming in here. What's the negative on it? It fell Friday on a pretty good pickup in volume. See that? That is a slight negative. You'll have to watch that. Maybe semiconductors lose leadership. Am I saying they will? No, I'm saying maybe. They're still above the rising 50-day, though, okay? What would we like to see, though? Start to pick back up and take out the shelf right here. That would be nice. Spiders rallied up on decreasing volume, fell on a pickup in volume on Friday. Slight negative. Trend is still up, though. The trend is still up. Don't argue with it. Solar, fairly strong. Look at that. There's leadership there. That's good. Small cap, just like IWM, a little bit looser. That's where it is. A little bit below the 50-day, not too bad. Oil, folks, U.S. oil. Take a look. Oh, I'm going to look for some oil stocks. That's what I'm after. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to use my ego and find a stock that's falling in a group that's getting its butt kicked. Nah, move on. What's that movie? These drones are of no use to you. Here we go. Aerospace, hanging in there. Aerospace defense. Hanging in there on a pickup in volume. Something to consider. Home builders, hanging in there. Fell a little bit, but the trend is still up. Basic materials just flopping around here, kind of loose. Rallied up. A little lesson for you. Rallied up on good volume. Fell on less volume. That's good. Perhaps it goes sideways and takes out these tops here at around 61.30. Technic communications hanging in there. That looks fine. What does that tell you? Maybe it's okay to look at some communication stocks. 
It's easy for me to say, right? Let's continue onward. Energy, just like oil. There's nothing here. Move on. Financials, hanging in there. We like to see that. A warning sign that's always, to me, fairly relevant is that when you start to see the financials really getting hit, it often means problems for the overall market. It's hanging in fine, no problems. Industrials, hanging in fine. What does that tell us? You can look at some industrial stocks. It's okay. It's fine. Fell on a slight pickup in volume. You got some double tops here, but something to look at. Technology, as I said before, this is another one. We're heavy in technology. We have been. Why? Well, the trend is up. We just get in line with it. Consumer staples, hanging in there. That's a plus. The consumer's still involved with things. Kind of defensive. Utilities, hanging in there. That's good to see. You start to see a lot of different sectors getting kicked. Those are red flags, which is why we do this. Healthcare, going sideways. Constructive. <clears throat> Consumer discretionary, hanging in there. Rallies up on good volume, falls on less volume. Consumer discretionary stocks, fine. Metals and mining, just like the gold. What do you say here? Forget it. Move on. Retail, below the 50-day. There's no leadership here. You don't really need to focus on retail stocks until we start seeing us move back above the 50-day. By the way, the green line is the 50-day moving average. The purple line is the 200, just for what it's worth. Finally, software, hanging in fine. Hanging in fine, just like that. Now, I'm going to do something for you. Now that we've done it talking, we'll just go through without me talking, and you just look. Taking it from the top, IBD50. I'll stop there. That was half the list that quick. We were not rushing. We were analyzing. But you can see how quickly you can systematize your search process to find the best probabilities in the best groups and areas to avoid. And there you go. That's my goal is to help. It's not just to give ideas, but it's to teach and coach so that people have some organization on what to look for. You can say, Good Lord, man, I'm looking at a million things. No, you go through the ETFs. You got what groups are strong, what groups are weak, what to look for, what to avoid. Then you look at the stocks, leading groups, leading stocks. You're ready. You're ready to rock and roll. That's simple. And you got a great list of stocks for Monday. We make the key list for VIPs with a, a group of stocks that we are interested in potentially buying if the market's good on Monday. Make it every day. Anyway, thank you very much, and I hope this helps you.